A man is trapped on a 100 meter cliff. If he moves a muscle, he will fall. This man is hanging from the edge of a sand cliff. Before we continue, please subscribe to my channel so that you be updated on every viral story. A group of surfers comes to a deserted island to ride the high waves. The friends have a great time and gather around a campfire in the evening. During these gatherings, the oldest surfer Nilo shares that he is in a relationship with a girl. Nilo now plans to quit surfing and move to Canada with his girlfriend. Everyone is happy for him except for a guy named Alvaro. While everyone is having fun, a distraught Alvaro gets drunk and longingly watches his ex-girlfriend Ona. The young couple recently broke up because of Alvaro's frequent arguments and cheating. That evening, she dances with another guy. Alvaro gets into a drunken fight with his rival and is rude to him. Soon Nilo takes Alvaro away from the dance floor. The friends chat about life. Nilo asks Alvaro, to be honest about what is bothering him, Alvaro says that Nilo has ruined their plans together. After all, the friends would serve half the world and look for girls in the other half. Now, Nilo thinks those plans are childish. He is in love with his girlfriend and besides, they are about to have a baby. Nilo invites Alfaro to come to Canada occasionally, but he is not enthusiastic about the proposal. It turns out that Alvaro has already bought two tickets to a coastal city in Indonesia to go there with a friend to ride the waves. Now he presents tickets to Nilo and his girlfriend. This act touches Nilo and the friends almost reconcile, but Alvaro still considers his friend's crush or betrayal. Afterward, Alvaro drives off alone in a car to the far side of the island. In the morning, he wakes up in his car with a terrible hangover. Several notifications arrive on his phone. Alvaro's sister informs him that it was her birthday yesterday, which she forgot about. Also, his father is seriously ill and misses him, but the family doesn't resent Alvaro. They are willing to wait patiently until he finds himself and wants to maintain a relationship with him. Meanwhile, he arrives at the most desolate part of the island. He takes his backpack and board with him and sets out to find a place to surf. Alvaro walks along the steep sandy shore and suddenly stumbles. He drops his board and the loose sand takes him to a high rocky cliff. Alvaro manages to hold on for a while with an incredible effort, but he can't climb back up because the sand will start to fall again. Alvaro digs his fingers into the sand but keeps sliding down the slope. At that moment, his phone rings in his backpack. Alvaro tries to reach for the phone, or ask for help, but the sand takes him relentlessly to the edge of the cliff. He finds himself in a hopeless situation. He's hanging right over sharp rocks and shallow water, unable to move or save himself. Alvaro tries to figure out by ear when a big wave hits the rock, so he can jump into the water without crashing. So he picks the right moment and jumps. He hits a rock hard in the water with his hip, but swims up. He gets out on the rock. He gets on his feet, takes a step, and immediately falls without feeling anything because he broke his hip when he hit the underwater rocks. After a while, he comes to his senses. In the second fall, he cuts his palm to the meat and breaks his head. His thigh is also covered in blood, but he can move his toes on his wounded leg. Alvaro takes his phone out of his backpack, but it's broken and he can't turn it on. In desperation, he calls for help, but there's not a soul around. For several kilometers, Alvaro wraps that shirt around his bleeding palm and decides what to do next. In his condition, it is almost impossible to swim to shore, but he has no choice. Alvaro slips into the water, overwhelmed by the pain. He tries to row with one arm and one leg but he is exhausted and almost drowns the internal bleeding. Causes this stomach to cramp up. He screams in pain and goes underwater. Alvaro no longer finds the strength to fight for life and gives up. He lets the air out of his lungs and slowly sinks to the depths. He mentally says goodbye to everyone and asks for forgiveness for his wrongdoings. At this point he has a hallucination. Alvaro imagines that he was rescued and returns to shore with owner. She says the guy he danced with at the bonfire party was just her gay friend, 
and Alvaro then humiliated her in front of everyone by starting a fight. But she also recalls good moments in their relationship, for example how Alvaro once threw her a candlelight dinner on the far side of the island during a new moon. She had a crush on him then, but those feelings are gone now. Alvaro tells Anna that he is drowning and asks for her forgiveness. However, the boy cannot list what he is wrong, his beloved. That's what the girl popped up in his mind for, to name all the unpleasant things she had to go through in their relationship. She talks about the boyfriend's constant cheating, the humiliation and the lack of love on his part. In reality, Alvaro continues to sink and thinks about his fear of loneliness. He sees Zona again. She snuggles up to him, and affectionately. Also, they need to break up and start from scratch. Alvaro needs to apologize to many people, so he must live with these words. She kisses him goodbye. In doing so, she gives him the strength to push himself off the seabed and continue to fight for life. Alvaro floats to the surface and in his imagination she walks away. He manages to make it to shore. He comes to his senses sitting in the shadow. A large rock flies land on his bleeding wounds and there is no help waiting. Then Alvaro notices a piece of a surfboard being thrown onto the shore by the waves. He realizes he needs to get off the beach, and it's easier to do so by swimming. He crawls to the cliffs where the board washed up, but the surf gets worse. The wave picks him up and throws him headfirst onto the rocks. Alvaro faints again. He wakes up drowning in the waves of the tide. He catches the strap of his backpack on a protruding rock and thus stays in place. A helicopter flies over him, but the pilot doesn't notice Alvaro from above. The tide subsides. Alvaro is frozen against a rock, holding onto his backpack. A seagull flies up to him and starts pecking meat out of his split palm. This brings him to his senses, and he crawls into the shadows. Along the way, a thrown fish hook is poked into his hand. This circumstance, the helplessness, the loss of blood, and dehydration finally drive the guy into despair. He loses consciousness again. Alvaro only wakes up at night and decides to quench his thirst. He digs a hole in the sand and covers the bottom with tinfoil that he has in his backpack. He pees in the hole. But, do not drink the urine because there is too much blood in it. Overcome with pain, Alvaro rinses his unhealed wounds in salt water. Afterward, he wraps himself in foil, a fishing net found on the shore. He tries to keep warm this way, since it is a cold night and he has a fever, Alvaro hears thunder. Then it will soon rain, and he can quench his thirst. He puts his cup under the streams of water, but the rain quickly stops. He only manages to collect a few drops, which do not save him. All night long he whispers to himself that he does not want to die. In the morning a seagull approaches Alvaro again, but he is already armed with a stick and nails. He drives the seagull away and shouts curses in its wake. Just then he hears his phone ringing somewhere nearby. Alvaro decides the phone has been thrown ashore and it's working again. He digs his phone out of the sand and takes a video call from his parents. Alvaro tells them what happened to him and begs for help. But the parents talk about mundane things and don't notice that their son is in trouble. Then Alvaro realizes that this is another hallucination. He cries and tells his parents how much he loves them. The hallucination passes, and Alvaro again notices a wreck. A surfboard on the shore. Now the boy manages to get to it. Alvaro sees his surfer friends calling him to swim in the sea. It's as if he's on his feet and rushing to catch a wave. Alvaro realizes how beautiful his life was before this terrible accident. Thinking about his friends and surfing, however, he continues to lie helplessly on the beach. He keeps repeating that he does not want to die, as if it were a mantra. Alvaro tells the swooping seagulls that he is still alive. Then he thinks of Una pulls his will together and decides to swim away on a piece of the plank with the rest of his might somewhere ahead he spots a boat with people on it, but he can't tell if it's a mirage or not. Alvaro thinks of Ona and swims forward, but his strength fails him and he drowns, losing his last hope of salvation. His last thoughts are only Ivona. Suddenly, a boat passes over. Alvaro, a scuba diver, 
jumps out, swims up to Alvaro, and pulls into the surface. A medallion slips from Alvaro's neck, goes to the bottom, thus part of the guy stays by the shore forever. A helicopter flies in for Alvaro, medics immediately treat him. Later at the hospital, Alvaro is seen by Nilo, the boy, who was miraculously saved tells his friend what helped him survive. Alvaro says he was afraid to die, burdened by a tremendous sense of guilt for everyone close to him. He didn't want to be someone's vile memory. Now Alvaro wishes he had been able to be happy for Nilo when he told him about his crush. Alvaro admits that at the time he felt only envy, but now he is truly happy for his friend. Alvaro no longer wants to be completely selfish. He regretted not hugging his father for years and not telling him he loved him. Alvaro admits that he has never really fallen in love. The guy only likes Sana because she is objectively reasonable. But not for Alvaro. The guy decides to let go of Ona even though it hurts. The main thing Alvaro has learned is that he can be alone and survive. He ends his story with tears in his eyes. Time passes and Alvaro visibly recovers in the hospital and decides to start a new life. At that moment he has visited Viona. This story is based on actual events. A surfer named Alvaro Viscano once went missing. Two days and exhausted was rescued in the sea two kilometers from the shore. This is where the movie ends. Subscribe for more videos like this thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.